PDF files often contain sensitive information about products, organizations, or people that needs to be protected before sharing or publishing. This is usually done by redacting, or blacking out, the words or phrases that need to be protected. PowerPDF provides a variety of redaction methods. You can manually mark areas or use the easy search capabilities that let you find any phrases that you would like to redact. We will now review how to properly apply redaction in a variety of ways to your PDF documents. Please note that the redaction feature to select text or search and redact is only available for PDF normal and text searchable PDF files. If you have an image only PDF file, you can use the mark area tool, but for greater functionality, please go to the working with scan documents module to learn how to make your PDF searchable. To mark and then permanently redact content from your document, go to the Security ribbon and click Redaction Properties. The Redaction Tool Properties dialog box will appear. I will use it to set the redaction mark appearance. In this example, I will use the default mark color to black and click OK. Let's select the Mark Redaction Tool. You can use it to mark the text content you want to remove and move your pointer over it. When the cursor changes to a bar, select the text to be removed. But in this example, we'll use it to remove an area with no text, like the picture in this PDF, by moving the cursor to it. When it changes to a plus, I will draw a rectangle to cover the desired selection area. Hold the pointer over a marked area to preview how the redaction marking will look when applied. After review, right-click in a marked area and select Apply from the shortcut menu to apply redaction permanently to that area. If you want to make all marked redactions in the current PDF permanent, select Apply All. Confirm redaction by clicking Apply in the dialog box that warns redaction cannot be undone. Redaction cannot be undone once applied. To avoid mistakes, we strongly advise you to make a copy of the original PDF before you perform redaction, or save the redacted PDF as a new file with a different file name and or location. As you can see, the redacted image is now blacked out. Let's imagine you have a contract you need to share with a business partner, but you need to make sure to protect or hide the social security numbers before sending it over. First, I've made sure that I've already converted this contract from a scanned image to a searchable PDF in Power PDF, and you can review this feature in Module 4, Working with Scanned Documents. To identify and redact the social security numbers, I go to the Security ribbon and click on Search and Redact. Power PDF reminds me that some documents may contain content that is not searchable, so I should examine the document carefully to make sure all sensitive data is properly redacted. I then click OK. A window opens asking me to select the document, portfolio, or even folder I want to run the search against. For our example, we'll only search in the current document, but we could have just as easily run this operation against a large set of PDF files. We also have the option of searching on a single word or phrase, multiple phrases, or what we call a looks like search. With the looks like searches, I can search against common patterns like social security numbers, phone numbers, credit cards, emails, or dates. I could also perform a custom search to look for virtually any alphanumeric pattern that might be unique to our business. I'm just going to select social security number so I click the Looks Like Search Pattern radio button. And from the pull-down menu, I select Social Security Numbers, United States. I then select the Search and Redact button. Power PDF has identified the three instances where it found Social Security Numbers in the PDF. I choose Select All and then Mark for Redaction. A message pops up noting that once applied, the redactions cannot be undone. I click the Apply button. And Power PDF asks if I would like to remove any additional data elements from the document. This process removes anything in the background tied to these social security numbers, which we also want to protect. I click OK. And now all the information related to social security numbers has been permanently removed. In addition to using Power PDF, to identify terms for redaction, looks like searches can also be used to identify and apply markups like underlines or highlights in the same fashion. 
Whether you work in the legal industry or simply want to protect your sensitive information, you now have the tools to give more control over what content is shared.